Um, hello? Um, hello? Hey gamers. It's me. It's Monday night. It's, uh, your best friend Fran is here. Fran's. Best friend Fran's is here. If you could believe it. You know? Hi. No, it's just me today. Um, Colton, usually, so the, the original plan is to not actually run stream on the last Monday of the month. But I'm not going to be here next Monday. So you know how it is, right? You get it. We're running today. Won't be here Monday. But on the 11th and 18th, we'll have something fun doing. We're doing. Fuck. I can't talk. I'm sorry, everyone. <clears throat> I had a horf down my fucking dinner that I overcooked. It's very sad, actually. Do I have a, do I have a face for it? I got a scared face. There you go. It's um, it's quite sad. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite list that um, makes people kind of annoyed at me sometimes. Yeah, that's the face when I when I when I take a bite out of my fucking dinar and realize I overcooked it. Also this face, but I think I'm always making this face. Despite what my um, little guy may tell you, this is my default face in real life when I'm not on your computer screen. It's a good face, but um, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, J, J, J says yeah, yeah, yeah. But we got this, I'm a little kitty, meow, 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 meow. Um, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just pull up. Well, before I do that, let's talk about our sponsors real quick. This stream in particular is sponsored by Die Hard Dice. If you're not familiar, Die Hard Dice uh, sells dice and dice accessories. They've sponsored Nerdsmith for a very long time. However, they have recently expanded to have more Magic the Gathering products. They have... Uh, lifelink counters. They have dice counters, spin down like d6s. Um, I guess it spin up, kind of? Because you start at one and then you go up for like plus one plus one counters. Um, you know, so just, to, just to host us off, and they're, they're trying to expand as well. So if you go into their website, um, you can use the link in the chat, dieharddice.com slash nerdsmith, or you can just use the code nerdsmith, and that's 10% off your entire purchase. They have dice, dice accessories, they have match the gathering accessories, they got dice bags, they have dice mats, they have rolls of scrolling, dice towers, I think, as well. Go check it out, go check it out. Uh, otherwise, the... I'm so... I'm so not on my ADHD meds, and I think it shows. Um, <laughs> the network, Nerdsmith, in particular, is sponsored by Hero Forge. Um, if you're not familiar with Hero Forge, then you're not in the TTRPG space, clearly. Uh, but you can, it's a free-to-use online character designer, and they'll make custom 3D printed minis for you. You can design them, you can get them um, printed in color, you can get them printed prime, you can get them printed completely blank, um, color them yourself. They, ha they recently released statuettes so not only can you get a miniature, but you can get like a one-fifth scale statuette of your little guy. Um, super cool. Uh, if you use our affiliate link, it just lets them know that we sent you there. Definitely go check it out. Uh, we are also sponsored by World Anvil. It is a um, set of world building tools, helps you create, organize, store your world setting. It's completely free to use with different paid tiers. If you follow the link in the chat, that brings you to the world of Veil, vale, which is a um, custom homebrew world that Nerdsmith has used in the past. We have the highest tier, the Sage tier. I'll show you everything you can get with that tier. It's super cool, super fleshed out. Go ahead and check it out there. And then I do also just want to say that um, we are on Blue Sky. Oh my god, the chat bot isn't working. There we go. Um, 
<laughs> that is our um, link to Blue Sky. Uh, you know, or if you are still on Twitter for whatever reason, go ahead and follow us there too. Yeah. Well, that's that. Um, it feels, you know, it does feel kind of awkward just being me here. I think I understand. This is why I have Colton here. Um, he's a funny guy, you know? But we're going to talk about angels today. Angels are one of my favorite creatures uh, because I'm, I'm gay. I don't know what else to say about that. Let's take a look. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Look at the Fibble Fib little keychain. It's so cute. Anyway, I'm not here to shell for wizards. Despite everything I do or say, I'm not here to shelter wizards. The Mabel, the Mabel keychain is also very cute. Anyway, this is this is my um, this is my favorite deck. Well, yeah, it's still my favorite deck. There's a close second which I probably won't talk about in the stream, or maybe I will because I can't shut up about it. But, so my commander for this deck is Giada. It is called More Angels, because you'll never guess what it does. You'll never guess what it does. But it's mono-white, obviously, and it is, it is all about angels, and what can I do to make more angels? I always say, hey, the dinners with dice, what's up? Thanks for the raid. Just started here. Uh, we're talking about my favorite list, Angels. It's called More Angels for reasons that will become very quickly apparent. Um, so what does this deck excel at? Well, it excels at, I would say it excels at life gain, but really I can do better with life gain. But it is a little bit of a mono white control deck in that I want to make as many angels as possible without letting <laughs> anyone else do anything on the board. So I have stuff like Blind Obedience, um, so artifacts and creatures my opponents control enter and tapped, and whenever I cast a spell, I it has extort. Um, I can pay either one white or one black, and if I do, each opponent loses one life, and then I gain that much life. Um, people get really mad about this card. <laughs> but I have a lot of removal in here. It's really important, especially for enchantment removal, because if they, you know, turn my commander into a frog, which happens way more often than you think, or, like, use Kenrith's transformation and turn them into an elk. I can't do anything then. Like, it, it, it turns off the engine, more or less. I'll also talk about that as well. Um, but, you know, I am basically keeping other people from doing things. Not to the level of, like, stacks or pillow fort, but it is very much of, like, I'm shutting you down. Tank Vengeance. Resolute Rejection is my fa one of my favorite cards ever. For no reason other than it doesn't... It deals four damage to it, so it can destroy a creature, but it perpetually loses all abilities. So, when you get, you know, when your commander dies, goes to the graveyard, you can bring it back, and you can ha you can elect for it to remove "quote unquote" perpetual. Oh, what's it called? Perpetual, um, perpetual changes. Other stuff you can't, but your commander, yes, because your commander is a special card in the deck, obviously. But unless they die, or they get exiled, or they somehow are removed from the battlefield, you can't actually remove the perpetual effects. So I shut down a lot of people's stuff that way, and it's really fun. Um, it's one of my favorite cards when I get to pull it. And even if you don't get to use it, it has cycling. So you can pull another card if it's not useful in that scenario. It's one of my favorite cards. Uh, it is, of course, an arena card. I don't... Oh, or an uh, alchemy card. I don't know if it exists outside of there, but that's neither here nor there. Um, Cloud Key, of course. I always select creatures. It's just a creature deck. Um, some, some weaknesses is that it doesn't quite have enough life gain, which is an insane thing to say. Um, I only have a couple things that really give me life gain. I know there are more angels that can give me more life gain, or just other things in particular. Um, you might be saying, Franz, what do you mean you don't have enough life gain? Soul Warden is right there. That's true. She is right there. But this is a 100 card deck. Sorry, I can't always get Soul Warden. Um, White's, one of White's weaknesses to me personally is that there's not a lot of tutors. Black has, I think, 
three tutors. Three or four, there's demonic, there's vampiric, there's sign blood, which I think is also a tutor. But, well, that's a weird card. Sorry, look at the border of it. Um, Green has Sylvan Tutor, which specifically gets a creature. Um, white has Idyllic Tutor, but that's to get an enchantment, which I should add that to my enchanter's deck. But regardless, um, it doesn't get me creatures. <laughs> this is a mono white deck. And, you know, so much of a weakness versus it's just not that part of the color pie, I guess. Um, I've never done too much of a deep dive into, like, what that looks like. Uh, in terms of like the integrity of the color pie. It's what people yell and scream and piss and shit themselves about every time a new set comes out. Um, you know? Uh, Masswood Nexus obviously creates more angels. Roaming Throne obviously creates more angels. Avacyn is the bane of everyone's existence, but I love her so much. Um, you know, keep my angels up. Uh, Bond Discipline, again, uh, an instance of life gain, but it's not too much. Lyra. So, Lyra was originally going to be my commander for this deck. But, after talking with some people, I decided to go with Giada. Because Lyra is a... Where'd she go? Lyra is a 5-drop. Not the highest... She's a mono-white 5-drop, and she only has 2 pips. So, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, she also has lifelink, flying, first strike. And all other angels get plus 1, plus 1. So I feel like that's a, that's a pretty good deal for a 5-drop. Um, but... Angels tend to be a little expensive. Um, yeah, it looks like this is, this is divided by my mana curve. You can see I have very... My mana curve is not super ideal because Giada is a 2-drop, but like... A large portion of my cards are also two drops, so sequencing is really important. But Giada's passive is also persistent. So if someone were to remove Lyra, angels I control wouldn't get plus one plus one anymore. But with Giada, they still have their counters. What I might do, and maybe I'll do this tonight, is that I'll swap out who the commander is. I'll see if maybe, like, what I can do with Lyra as opposed to Giada as the commander. But regardless, that's not, that's not what this is about. Um, Book of Exalted Deeds makes me angels. I love that. Um, I have this deck in person as well. It's not quite the same deck, obviously. But I do love that I have to have so many different angel tokens. Because usually, you know, if something makes tokens, it's like, okay, cool, well, it's making a token. And then you have five 1-1 one, one soldier tokens, it's cool. They're all five 1-1 one, one soldier tokens. But with this deck, every time an angel comes out, every instance of token creation is going to have a different amount of counters on it. So my board goes very wide. And you know what? I love that. I love having wide boards. One of my favorite win cons is just smashing people to death with my many creatures. Safar would also be an interesting commander, but she's a seven drop with three pips. It'd be very interesting though, just because, you know, other creatures I control with flying have indestructible, but only flying. I have Nykthos, of course. I, I, I splurged it and I bought Nicholas IRL as well for my angels because if you ha if you are running a mono or even a dual colored deck and you don't have Nicholas in there, that's kind of silly. And of course, as always, I have my planes, but I am picky about what planes I have in there. It's all about the theming, you know? It's all about the theming. Actually, does... What is it called? No.
no, 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 no. I think it's Radiant Fountain. Hold on. There's a land I use. I had notes. I think we're just going to wing this one, guys. I'll be honest with you. Radiant Fountain? Oh. Yeah, let's craft that thing. I love this. Oh, shit. That's fine. It's just a common. God, stop crafting. It's weird. Yeah, yippee. And then I'll just remove... Planes. There we go. Yippee. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. These are all my decks. Don't worry. Don't don't worry about the amount of white in my deck list. Please. Every time I say, um, I turn on application audio. Ugh. Uh, let's take a look, let's take a look, let's take a look. Three planes. So whenever I play this, like, minimum is always going to be three planes. Um, on, actually, I lied. It's two, because my commander's a two drop. Again, see? That's that's the nice thing about it. Metropolis Reformer. Because Jada's other thing is... Get out of here. Here's the other thing is that you can tap her. She has Vigilance, and you can tap her to spend this mana, or to tap, tap her to add a white, and then you can spend this mana only to cast an angel spell. Let me turn this on a little bit, I can't even hear myself think. Hello. That's the nice thing about Giada is that she quote unquote makes more angels. Instead of putting her out, I'm going to bring out the arcane signet, just because the other angels I have here are a little more expensive. Um, Angel of Dire Hour is my big, beautiful wife. Um, I'm gay, but... Oh! Sir, I'm trying to... Excuse me. I'm trying to stream here. I'm trying to show off my angel deck, and I, I can't do that uh, if you big baby quit on me. Ash Party Crasher... Well, that sounds fun. Oh, I got an eyeball. Okay, I won, but that was boring. Okay. Let's mulligan. There we go. Oh, very good, actually. Yes. Yes! Oh, virtue of loyalty, my beloved. Let's see. Who, who are we? Oh, Joda. I love Joda. I love playing against Joda. Because people either like know what they are doing, or they have no idea what they're doing with Joda. And it's really fun to, to play against, because Joda has a very late game payoff. Oh, War 2, I can't rip it later. I won't attack because that thing has lifelink. Spring leaf drum. I hate spring leaf drum, it's so annoying. Um, look at that, I can put out mask with Nexus. I can't tap it yet. 
Um, let's put out a 2-2 two, two night creature check. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Remember how I said secreting is really important? I forgot what Mass with Nexus does. I was like, ooh, look, I can create more changelings, forgetting that it makes everything else also an angel. So it came in with a 3-3. Three, three. That's awesome. That's really swaggy, actually. <laughs> I have optimized this deck so well to the point of I don't even realize how well this is optimized, and it could be more optimized. By no means is this a, like, oh, I can tap Giada, mm, because it's an angel. Yeah, baby. By no means is this competitive, uh, like, EDH. Because first of all, it's not even EDH, it's Brawl. But it's not competitive at all, in the slightest. Um, but I have played this so many times. It is pretty much as optimized as I'd want it to be, but the point of this being... Actually... This is tap, so I'm gonna use Deadly... Post. Just destroy it outright. And then I'll path to Exile Joda. Which does... This is really annoying. <laughs> if I wanted people to quit on me this early in the game, I'd run Mind Skinner. Not Nib is that. Ugh. Do I dare keep this two hand? Yeah, it'll be fine. Fibble the pie, I'm such a big fan. Oh, yeah, I've never been punished before in my life. Oh my god, Kellen, hi, I'm such a fan. I don't have enough instances of life gain. Opening hand has three instances of life gain. I promise, guys. This is like three out of the five instances of life gain that I have. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Okay, I'm a little crazy. So, I learned something about myself recently, in that, so I love Mono White, obviously, we know this. Um, oh, Ashling. Um, I also really love Orzhov, right? I love white and black, uh, dual, dual deck. I'm okay with... Egg, uh, putting things in my graveyard and like not milling, but, like, surveying? Surveilling? When it's Orza, but, like, mono black, or even, um... I'll be honest, I forgot what it's called. The um, black and green, it scares me to put anything in the graveyard, because what if I don't get it back? Um, oh, Leyline Tyrant. I heard that thing sooner rather than later.
my angel engine is almost online. Shall I prefer an artifact card? Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. It's not a Duskmorn card, is it? Hmm. Oh, Roaming Throne, my friend Roaming Throne. Do I have enough? Uh, mm hmm, hmm. I think I'll put Roaming Throne out first. Yes, it is an angel. So I think, it, it, unless I pull anything else, what this sequencing is, is going to look like is I have, I have Roaming Throne out, right? So, um, it is an angel. Um, if a triggered ability of another creature you control of the chosen type, angel, triggers, it triggers an additional time. So when I attack with my Valkyrie Harbinger, um, I'm going to gain five life and I will create an angel. Because it's gonna trigger twice, the trigger is gaining life by the time I have my end step. I'll get it twice. I'll get two angels. I'll get two um, four four white angel creature tokens. But again, because of sequencing, it's going to come in as a 6-6 six, six, and then a 7. Oh, it'll come in as a 7-7 seven, seven, and then an 8-8. Eight, eight. That's the interesting thing about Giada's... Here we go. About Giada's ability is that angels don't see each other as they enter. With Giada, for... So each other angel you control enter with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it for each angel you already control. So if I, you know, create... If I have something that, you know, perhaps triples the amount of tokens I create, so I'll have three angels coming in at a time, they only see the other... They do technically see each other, see each other as they enter. But the way that it's set up, the way that it's worded very strictly, they only get counters for angels already on the board. But the next ones that come in do count those three angels. Yes, Ashley, we know. Magecraft. Smith. Why did they just quit? This is so annoying. Whoa, he had needed. Counter target creature spell. If the gift was promised, instead counter target spell. Oh. Oh, I have a pack. Yippee. Hooray. Omnivorous Flytrap. Ooh. Delirium. Whenever Omnivorous Flytrap enters or attacks, if there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard, distribute two plus plus one counters among one or two target creatures. Okay, so you can either give one creature two or you can give two, one each. There are six. Double the number of plus one, plus one counters on those creatures. The very interesting wording. I wonder if there's already been a judge like call Does it have to be... I guess you could still pick target. You'd still pick two target creatures. It doesn't have to be the same ones you originally gave counters to. 
Oh, there's my man. We're not talking about him today, but we talked about him last week. Yeah, Seraph of Dawn, Valkyrie Harbinger. I genuinely... I think I have maybe 10 instances of life gain in this deck. So, you know, a tenth of the deck. Which is not nothing, but there certainly have been more games than I can count where I just go through it with no life gain. Which is fine, but it's annoying when a lot of my creation of angels has to do with life gain. Though, in my physical deck, I do have the Moon Silver Spear, I think is what it is. And you equip it to a creature, and when the equipped creature attacks, it creates a 4-4 Angel or Angel Warrior token that is also tapped at attacking at the time of, you know, before before um, blockers are declared. I wonder if it's in Arena. If it is... Oh boy. That'll be fun, I think. I have Valkyrie Sword in this deck. I need to remove it, because I have a weird thing where... Can I play through a game, please? God, God, hey, man, come on. So it's two to cast it, and when I cast it, when it enters, I can pay five. If I do, create a... Hold on. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, so if I pay five at the time of it entering... Um, I create a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying white angel warrior, angel warrior, uh, with flying, and then I attach a sword to it, which is all fine and good. Except, I will never play this card unless I have 7 open mana. That's not a very efficient use of my mana, to be quite, to be quite honest with you, with you. So, I think I might have to get rid of it. This game isn't going to last much longer because of this loser. Um, but, hmm, intriguing. I'll see, I'll see if the Moon Silver Sphere, Spear, Spear, is in Arena. If it is, I think I have, I think it's a... It has to be a rare, right? Like, it has to be a rare for what it does. It creates an angel every time you attack. Okay. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Music is in this is so good, by the way. BT dubs. I don't think this person is here. Hey, why did you... I don't think this person is here, because why would you discard this? Hello. It's on your sleeve and everything, buddy. <sighs> uh, hi. You guys want a balloon? Whenever this happens, whenever someone DCs, I refuse to exit the game. I don't care. I will wait it out. And I will win. It's annoying. So I'd like to actually play. But I'll take I'll take the W. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This might as well happen. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, that's right. Okay, so we're gonna go to Dex. Let's look at more angels. Let's see. Moon silver. Moon silver key. Reaper of flight moon silver. This is from Shadows over Instrad. So it's delirium. I don't. Hmm. Delirium is just not something I've built into this deck. They only have Shadow Spear, huh? That's sad. Oh well. Let's take a look. Let's keep going then. Let's see if we can actually play a game. It's been, <laughs> excuse me, it's been like 30 minutes. I am <laughs> really annoyed actually. Come on, it's a Monday night. No one wants to play with angels. No one wants to play with me with angels. Smith. Uh, oh, and Soul Warden is here? Hell yeah. And Daxos, and... Okay, no. This is one drop, two drop, three drop, four drop. Let's go. Well, we'll get Giada in there eventually at some point, but... You know? That's... Actually, that was correct sequencing. If I can get a different planes other than Hidden Courtyard, because Hidden Courtyard is, is great. I like the ability to discover. I don't use it too, too much, because you have to sacrifice it. There we go. Hey, gamers. Let's see, let's see. Oh, now I have so many three drops. Um, <sighs> I think not yet, because I do not have a way to actually generate three mana yet, yet. Daxos will give me one, Soul Warden will give me one, there's only two. Um, I guess I can put Jet out just to get her out. I do love Topiary Stomper. Big Stompy. Oh, oh Emoti, okay. I'll get Hidden Courtyard out just to get it out. Let's, I'll go ahead and put Masswood Nexus out. Now everyone's angels here. Uh, let's see. Can't attack or block unless I control, unless they control seven or more lands. They don't. Full send. The other nice thing about this deck is that like, so it's mono colored, right? It's mono white, meaning I don't have to make sure I have the right combination of colors for any particular card, because it all uses white or colorless. Or rather, any color. That's what I should specify. There's a difference. I will put... What do I put out, chat? Um... I won't put out Cloud Key. Ah, I'll put out Cold Steel Heart for the moment because they only have those. Um, yes, white, please. Uh, oh, looks like I can still bring out enough mass with Nexus. So we'll go ahead and we'll tap that. Yes, 
yes, yes, thank you. It is now a 5-5. Five, five. These are all angels, thank you. I will not... Not Soul Warden, she can stay back. You know, I complain about people leaving, but it is round four. I do already have them down to 12 health. So I understand, but also, come on. Come on. Hey, don't, hey, hey, hey. That's my man. What's wrong with you? One, two, three, four, five. That is five outright. Fine, I'll do Book of Exalted Deeds. And I won't attack. And I'll also put out Cloud Key. Uh, I always do Creature. I won't attack because Titan of Industry. That's scary. I don't know, man. That's scary. Um, next one, I'll do Bond of Discipline. Where all of my creatures will have lifelink. Not to brag, but my friend's kind of a big deal. Oh, shut up, Kiora. Oh, hmm. That's what I'm looking for. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'll wait one more turn. I want another angel. I have 34 health. I will, um, uh, I'll live. <laughs> Even if they decide to attack me with everything, I'll be fine. Do I mana tithe? Yeah, I think that's fun. Yeah. Rosh me. Thanks. I see. What does Rosh do? Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, reveal the top card of your library. You may cast it without paying its mana cost if it's a spell with lesser mana value. If you don't cast it, put it in your hand. Aw, oh, man. What? I guess only once per turn. That's ten... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I can do both. Uh, well. Not enough to kill them. Oh, but it will. Ooh, you know what I could do? It doesn't actually. Matter because I wouldn't be able to kill him anyway, but I could kill Kiora. And I'd have enough. There we go. Eight eight with flying. What are you gonna do now? Pack leader. Um, oh, beautiful noise, by the way. I hate Cascade. Not Vorn Clex. Hey, 
Hey, no, hey, no. Turning my token back to my hand, that's rude. Oh, not another born Clex. This is stupid. At least, you know, I'll get some I'll get some health off this. Oh my god, what does this do? <sighs> Rounds down my counters. Stop it. Hi, little kitty. Not Hulkbreaker Horror, come on now. Not the gorilla. What is that going to do? Okay, how many Hullbreaker Horrors are you putting in here? What's going on? I don't understand the sequencing. Not Thassa. Okay, well... Might actually be over... soon. I hate blue players. If you play blue, die. Die badly. And they got the replicated ring. Can I play the game? Hey. You didn't purge. Can I play the game? Can I play the game? I'm not staying around for another three rounds for you to fuck around. We're not doing that. Let's see. Ah, I'm not doing that. No, thank you. Yesterday was really funny. Um. 
on the weekends, on Sundays, I go to a local game store, and I, I play Commander. Um, I love playing Commander. Uh, and we did this one, like, oh, Golos. Oh, Golos. Um, I don't want to keep this. What's this? Uh, I shouldn't keep this either. Uh, I should put back Valkyrie Harbinger, but I kind of back Cloud Key. We did this thing where we swapped decks, and um, this guy, his name is Matt. Uh, he was playing with my Angel, with my Giada deck. And it was really funny, like, watching... Because he was going very fast. He's like, I had to leave in 30 minutes. We're like, okay. Sure. Yeah, man. Cool. Um, he was trying very hard to figure out what the hell was happening with this deck and, like, how it worked at, like, super speed. Very funny to watch. Um, and I won't, be, I won't be able to go next week because I'm out of town, which is why I'm not streaming next week. But I would love do that again we're just like swap decks around the table and try and pilot to those decks and see how it works especially something like angels which i just play prolifically um you know take that back oh yeah let's see that's what's out here yeah Let's get more lifelink. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I say I need more life gain, and really what I mean is that I don't have life gain every single game, which means this deck is wrong. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Ah, oh, Elspeth. Hey, I didn't like you did that. Hey. Ah, oh, Avison, no! <gasps> My book of exalted deeds, no! Uh. Yeah. They took Avison. This game is over. Oh wait, no it's not. Duh. That's a good thing Mono White, or just White in general has going for it. That exiling, like, gets around a lot of shit. This is, our to win. this is funny. You have no flying, you have no reach. Bites you, bites you, bites you, bites you. Plaza of Heroes. Chat, you want a balloon? Oh, Valkyrie Sword. What are you gonna do with Valkyrie Sword? Silly. Okay. Cool, so I can kill a Tali. No issue. The plane's out, put Elspeth out. What happens I if I like alt? Your way on these dark streets. 
What? Everyone deserves a second chance. What about... Non-land permanence. Oh, I think it just wants me to do that first. Um, hmm, Bonnie Paul, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, let's go ahead and put... Let's do this together. Uh, flying. Let's see. I'm really glad... <laughs> I just had the um, Swords of Plowshares just like in hand, like for real, because the game would have been over if I didn't have it. Oh, I lost the Oh, I see. I understand. I need to get rid of Elishnorn. If I can't, I won't. Everything gets negative two, negative two. I will not be able to do anything until she's gone. Okay, I... I can kill Golos, but then that leaves me with just Valkyrie. Shit. Not really what I needed, actually. Oh! Duh. Maybe I should have saved that. Well, I, uh, I can only do it at sorcery speed, I'm pretty sure, so. Hmm. Show him what you got. It's going to immediately die, but that's okay. You shine bright, hero. I don't think I'm winning this, but. Oh wait, I can't lose right now. Duh. It's a risky gamble, but I have nothing else, you know? I don't think they have any sack outlets. Hmm. I think this might be over. Wait, I can't die. I'm gonna kill El Schnorn and then it's gonna be over for them. I don't think they realize what I did.
Sorry, this is really funny. <laughs> oh, this is really funny. That was a good game, though. That was a really good game. That was a good game. I really like that. Damn, alright, alright, alright. You know what? It is 9. Let me actually see something. I kind of want to show y'all... I kind of want to show y'all my deck. My, um... My other deck. Let me see here. I, I am trying to crop this so you don't actually see, like, my whole situation. I think that will suffice. I don't, don't look at my browser, heem heem. Heem heem. Nah, here we go. Okay, you can mostly see it, I think. Anyway, this is more angels. This is the physical deck I have. Um, the only exception is that I don't... Oh god, the way that I have this set up is so confusing to look at. I have a couple of different things, obviously speaking. It says that I don't have Book of Exalted Deeds. I do. I own every card in this deck on screen right now. Um, Promethalion is so fun, guys. It's so pretty. I love it so much. I have a little more ramp in here. If you look, do you remember my other deck, or the deck I was just playing, I showed you the list. I didn't have a lot of ramp. I had the one... That one crystal, um, obviously there's no soul ring in arena. Um, I have, I think I have arcane signet, um, and I have cloud key, but I have a little more ramp in here because physical cards tend to have a little more ramp in general. Um, one thing that I'll probably wind up removing eventually is this intangible virtue. Um, the thing about intangible virtue is that it, you know, it, 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 it does what it says on the tin, right? Creature tokens you control get plus one, plus one, have vigilance. This is a token deck. This is very much a token deck. However, this deck has multiple win cons. Well, wrong. It has one win con and multiple ways to get there. Even if I can't get Jada on the board, even if I can't generate, you know, enough life gain to get enough tokens, I can still do things, I can still put angels out on the board and they're flying, so they can't really be blocked by a lot of things. So it's just it's just angels on the board regardless. So intangible virtue is really not too much of unnecessary. I took it out of my arena deck for that reason. Um, I might take it out, I might not. Um, one thing that I am going to take out is Alley Evasion. So this is currently in my physical deck. But what I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to take out Alley Evasion. 
Um, or maybe... No, active heroism... I might take out Break the Spell. I mean, it's nice to have that enchantment removal, but you know, whatever. I was thinking about Leyline of Hope. Because I, I own, I think I own multiple copies of the card now because I love Dustworn. But. You know? I don't know how much I don't know how much it would do for me because I have to have life gain. Now, if I were to change this deck up and put Lyra as the commander, maybe I would put Leyline of Hope in there because I have guaranteed life gain when she is on the board, right? Um, I do have Miku. Um, I do actually have this actual like card. This uh, is this this, this this secret layer drop. It's Elspeth Terrell. I have the actual Elspeth too. But so with Miku, Divine Diva, so you gain one life for each creature you control. I say I need more life gain, and every time I say it, I sound insane. I know this. Um, I just I don't have enough guys. <laughs> I just don't have enough. Um. Seraph Sanctuary, don't look at it. Don't, doesn't matter. So Soul Warden isn't actually in this deck yet. What did I take out? Oh, I know. Um, there's that one from Ixalan where it gives a creature flying for like the rest of the turn. I don't, all my, all my creatures are flying. I don't need that. So I'm taking that out, and I'm going to put Soul Warden in this deck. It's not currently in there. I'm waiting for this version to come in. I ordered, I ordered it weeks ago. It's okay. It'll come in. I love this art, by the way. It's my favorite thing. Um. So I think that's gonna add a lot of life gain. I. It's really fun. This deck is really fun to pilot, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Court of Grace is so fun. Uh, so, I wish we knew more about Radiant. So the, the person on this, in this picture, her name is Radiant and she's from Sarah's realm. If you don't know, that there's a whole lot of backstory here. So Sarah is a planeswalker. She is a very, very powerful planeswalker. Uh, this is her here, Sarah the Benevolent. Look at her. So with Sarah the Benevolent, um, she created her own pocket dimension. And Planeswalkers used to be able to do stuff like that. <laughs> Colt will go on like, a huge rant about it, but um, Planeswalkers used to be able to like do stuff like create a whole plane of existence. How we got Phyrexia, by the way. Um, but... So Sarah left her realm in the care of Radiant, or Radiant just took over while Sarah was gone, not sure. Um, but Radiant was unable to deal with what that entailed, which is really just like a million mirrors where she could see everything all the time that was happening in the realm. Drove her a little crazy. Um, God, this is beautiful art. Oh, I love this art so much. Uh, I wish we knew more about her other than like she went crazy when Phyrexia invaded and like blah, 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 blah. It's really good art. Um, I love anything having to do with angels. I heard like Elspeth became an archangel and I was just over the fucking moon about it. Really, for real. Austere command, of course, depend on the, upon this. Descend upon the sinful, of course. I love this. I actually used this yesterday. Um, the board was kind of insane. One person was playing Maha. Another person had Elish Norn. And, oh, what was, what was his actual commander? It was crazy. There was a million things going on. Um, and it was just like oppression happening on the board. Um, I managed to pull out Descend Upon the Sinful, and I didn't have Delirium, unfortunately, so I didn't actually create anything. But I got to exile all creatures, and... I think I killed myself in that game. No. 
No, that was a different game. I don't know. I don't remember. I, Jay, if you remember how that game ended, I don't fucking remember. But it was really fun. Depend on the depend, descend upon the sinful. Um, I am also very excited about Innistrad coming back next year. You're, I'm never going to shut up about that, by the way. I'm never going to shut up about that, by the way. Um, maybe I was thinking about Sarah Redeemer. I think there's another Sarah Angel that I should put in there that, like, gives you protection from, like, something. Hold on. Is it? It's not the Invade. Not Sarah Faithkeeper. No. Oh, here's Radiant herself. Gains protection for the color of your choice. Ooh, that'd be fun. Sarah Angel. You can't cast cast the spell during the first, second, or third turns of the game. Uh, what is it? What am I looking for? Ah, Sarah's Emissary. I think it's a little crazy for me not to have this in the deck. So as it enters the battlefield, you choose a card type. You and creatures you control have protection from the chosen card type. So I can choose like enchantments. People can't hurt me with enchantments. Or uh, creatures. Uh, okay, Jay says we did lose badly. Cool, that's what I thought. Um, or, you know, again, you choose creatures. Uh, what are the, what are the different prints, different copies of it? <gasps> Watercolor. Oh. Oh, I love that. Whoa. Unfortunately, I am that bitch who really cares about the aesthetic of cards. So we're gonna just add that to the maybe board. I have a very large maybe board, as you can clearly see. Um, actually, Caretaker's talent is something that I'm always on the fence about. Yeah, the art is so beautiful, right? It's crazy. I will probably never actually add it to this deck just because it. there's better things for me to add to this deck, if I'm being honest. I should definitely add Sarah's Emissary, though. Hold up. Let's take a look here. Out of the deck. Let's see, let's see. Do I have, I don't have any mythics. Ooh, I'm worried it's a mythic. Ooh. I'm making a noise <laughs> and they can't even hear it. Ah, it's mythic, ah. Oh, hmm. I'm not going to edit this deck because it just won't make sense, but very pretty card. Very interesting card, too. It's an enchantment. Mm. What if I added it to... my Victor deck? Hmm. Anyway, I said what I wanted to do is I might... I didn't want to do that. Oh. You couldn't see what I was looking at. No, it is a mythic. I don't, um, I was looking at, um, on Sarah's wings. It's a legendary enchantment that turns a creature legendary with flying and lifelink, which is like, wow, that's crazy. 
Uh, what? How do I... Let's clone this deck, actually. We're gonna do... I want to... Lyra. Then Giada. Let's see. Let's let's try this, actually. You know, I was looking... <laughs> it was like, okay, who do you want to be a commander? And I saw... um, What's her name? It was the Tiefling. Hold on. Clement? I think that'd be such a fun Wooberg deck to build around Clement. Anyway. Oh, she's already in here. I know, Jay loves Clement. Does Clement have... Hold on. No, it's an arena only card. Wait, no. Yeah, Alchemy Horizons. Yeah, okay. Only exists on Arena. That's fine. Okay. Let's play Lyra's Angels. Let's see what happens. I haven't edited the deck yet anyway, which means the mana curve is also really goofy um, for what we're doing here. And it's, again... This deck is very geared towards creating more angels to utilize Giada's passive. Oh, but Heliod, go, uh, I'm flipping off the screen. Hold on. Angry face, I'm flipping off the screen. I think I'll keep this just because blind obedience and I have a couple of one drops otherwise. I should also see about adding more more rooms put the hidden courtyard first i don't have any other one drops that are important right now hopeful initiate you know i feel like the witches in i'm still mad actually yeah i am still mad i i don't think the witches in Innistrad are like given enough exploration. I don't know anything about witches in Innistrad. Maybe that's on me, but like, can I? Just, can I? Chat, have we actually like done a game? where someone hasn't quit. Like, can we finish a game? <sighs> okay. Please, 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 please. I'm asking so nice. He's so nicies. Look, I'm a, I'm a nice kitty. Zabby, slime foot and squee. Oh my god, squee. Um No, I'm going to have to mulligan. I have a couple two drops in here, but I I, I have a cloud key, but the cloud key's a three drop. And I have no guarantee that I'm going to get any other planes. I have no other ramp either. The power stone is also three. Oh, so, well, ah, uh, you know, actually, this is better because I, mm, I have cycling too. Okay, yeah, this is a two drop. 
This is a good two drop. A three drop. This is a three drop. Would this give me card draw, but this has cycling too, so I really can't find anything else. I can just use the resolute rejection. Box Amber, get out of here. <laughs> the music in Arena is very good. <laughs> okay, let's get the Youthful Valkyrie out here. Youthful Valkyrie is fun with Giada in particular. I do. This happens a lot for some reason where I'll have Giada out, and then I'll have Youthful Valkyrie out, and then people will get rid of Giada. Like, okay, cool. I bring Giada back, and then Youthful Valkyrie gets another counter. Oh, that's a new... Oh, I have Birds of Paradise for my Tiamat deck. I love this version of it. I think it's a special guest. I should get this one. I, I don't need to, but what if I did anyway? How what if? Terror of the Peaks. Oh, I love Terror of the Peaks. This is a $20 card, by the way. I want it really bad for my Tiamat deck, but it's $20. I mean, to be fair, it is a 5-4 a for 5 uh, with flying and spells opponents cast that target this creature. Costs an additional 3 life. And whenever another creature you control enters, it deals damage equal to that creature's power. In a Tiamat deck? That's insane! That is insane. That is why it's a $20 card. <laughs> Sorry to get in my feelings about... I'm not even in my feelings. That's not even the right term. Like, I'm so excited. <gasps> Hi, Giada. Hey, girl. We're not going to attack because I don't want Terra the Peaks coming after me. Wait, that's squee, hi! Well, that's an ugly... Oh, that was the squee noise, not the Terror of the Peaks noise. I'm like, why would you Why would you do that for a dragon? Come on, now. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hey, man. Don't... Hey, she didn't do anything to you. Hey. We gotta get rid of this Terror of the Peaks, gamers. Not Demonic... Okay, who are you pulling? If you pull Valgavoth, I'm gonna be really mad. Oh no! Just blood litter of Al Ak Aklazots. You know, Aklazots is a bat god, but it's not a demon god, which I feel like is very wrong because it keeps turning things. It turns all the vampires into vampire demons. Why doesn't it actually like? Why is it not a demon itself? Okay. Come on, I only need one more. Oh, I could have put Giada out, and then I would have been able to bring out Lyra. Mm. Oh, well, here's a planes anyway. <laughs> Give a shit. I'm a god. Yeah, yippee. Oh, yes, I can block Terror of the Peaks now. Well, unless it decides to kill me. Let's decide to kill Youthful Valkyrie, which I think it might, depending on... It's only a 2-4. Bloodletter of Alklazoth is only a 2-4? For... 4? Four? I guess that's okay. Hey, Zabby0916. You should throw Terror of the Peaks at me so I can kill it with my angel. Have you considered that? Have you considered that? Have you considered that? Have you considered that? Silly move. Stupid move. You should have 
You should have hit Beautiful Valkyrie. Then you would have killed it when I do this. Have you considered that? No, you only think about yourself. And not even, like, well. Let's see what happens. Look, and you're, like, all tapped out of mana, too. We have two treasure. Idiot. 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 Okay. <gasps> Ooh, Lyra's here. Yes! Now what are you gonna do? Silly. Silly. You're fucked. You maybe have some recursion, but like, buddy, I think it's over for you, man. Like, I can't say much, but everything I have has life gain now. It does have reach, but it's only a 5-5. Five five. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You goofed. You goofed. You goofed really hard. You could have got... If you... Listen, if you would have kept Terra the Peaks alive, maybe we would have had something here. But alas. You know, I'm also going to get you... Ooh, you little Valkyrie's tapped. That's right. Look at that. Okay. Well, Birds of Paradise didn't even have anything. What are you doing? This is fine. Let's see, I have something up your sleeve, man. Oh, you don't have any cards in hand. No, you're fucked. Get out of here. And I'm gonna get life gain from this. I'm gonna get 11, 14. I'm gonna almost double my health. This actually fucks hard. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You're fucked, dude. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh. You fucked up. You fucked up. I want to do another game and then we can wrap stream for that. <laughs> I love it. So you understand why I love Angel so much, right? Like, you get it? This is so funny. Atraxa. I should build an Atraxa deck. I don't need to. Dear God, I don't need to. Oh, here's Ocelot. Ocelot Pride is a $40 card. Unless you want the fancy art, which is an $80 card. I understand. It's a very good card. It makes cats. Who doesn't... It not only does it make cats, it doubles... The token you have created. So you understand, people love Ocelot Pride. Um, it has really cool art. It's really cute little kibbies. $80. You understand. Let's put some more in Power Stone on there. I'll be, so I'll be honest here. I call stuff like this ramp, like Mana Rocks, ramp. I don't know if it's considered ramp, because I think ramp comes from the card Rampant Growth, which, hey, what, uh, my kibbies. Which allows you to put more, more lands on the field. It's a sorcery. Well, I can put Cold Steel Heart on there. And then still put Ocelot Pride back out. I think next turn I will have the City's Blessing. I'll have 10 permanents on the field. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Oh, oops! Oh, brother, did you mean to put out a swamp? The Phyrexian lands do all look the same. To be fair. Uh, yeah, we'll put out Lyra. I don't have any other angels right now, but when you get your mander out, you know? Oh, I should have put Giada. Mmm, sequencing. Sequencing, chat. Sequencing. Ah, well. I'll get a point of health. No. I didn't. 
I didn't have fun. Let's try again. Admiral Brass. Okay, all right. Okay, we can do this. Yeah, let's keep. Let's keep, chat. Doop, 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 doop. Bitch of a wings first. Uh, so whenever an angel comes in, I'm gonna gain four life. So even though I could have put Giada out, I want the four life, obviously. Blue. I think I'll put the Life Creed Duo down first because I, it will give me. Unless you're gonna counter spell? No, you can't. Um, hey! Hey! Why isn't this card in Japanese? I know why. That's really rude. It looks like it's in Japanese until you look at it. That's funny. There we go. I actually bought this card for Jay. Me playing a game in English. Why isn't this in Japanese? <laughs> Hell yeah. What are you gonna do now, Beckett? Sorry, I realized the, <laughs> the particular card is Admiral Brass Unsinkable. I'm pretty sure her name is Admiral Beckett Brass. If my lore is correct. Hey, what are you- Hey! <gasps> Chiana! <gasps> they turned her to treasure! No! <gasps> they turned her to my girl. She's only 14. She's just a little girl. Why would you do that? Uh, cancel. I'm gonna put Lyra out first, because if I put Elspeth out, this bitch has flying, and I wouldn't be able to do anything. I wouldn't be able to do anything to save Elspeth from the larcenous attacking stuff. I can't believe they turned my girl into treasure. Can't have shit in arena. Okay, well, you go die badly. What are you saying good game for? <sighs> this doesn't happen off stream, by the way. I wish people quit off stream as much as they have this stream. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna watch the VOD, I'm gonna see if we finished any one game. Cause there was the one game where we quit because they were dragging out and they were being mean and rude. And we had already lost anyway. But the amount of people who have quit with 20 plus health is kind of sad, quite frankly. It's kind of fucking sad. It's... The issue with the internet at large, quite frankly, is like, okay, real winners quit. I get that. I love to exit a situation. However, it's like, you don't know how the game is going to go unless you play it out. I could like, 
I could run out of gas. I could have nothing else in my hand. This could be it. Literally, I had nothing else in my hand. I had Elspeth. Okay, I only have one way to block you. You know, it's like... <sighs> Just because <laughs> I source the plowshare your commander on turn three doesn't mean I have anything else I can do. And I sort of hate that. I do sort of hate that. And that is partially why I prefer playing in person because people don't just quit. Like, yeah, you can get a little, like, pouty. Oh. Well, that's a fun noise. You get a little pouty, right? But you... People don't usually just scoop like that unless they're, like, really pissy about something or something, like, really bad has happened. Um, it's also an issue with one-on-one, -on -one because at least with, with Commander, you play with four people, so you can look at the other other two players and be like, okay, gamers, what are we doing about this? <laughs> the politicking is beautiful. I love the politicking in Commander. It's really fun. But... <sighs> I feel like I haven't really gotten to show off my angels. That was the whole point of this stream. I mean, I did. I showed you guys the deck list, and I showed you stuff that was going on, but... Oh, Fibblethip, we're really in it now. You guys want to hear what winter sounds like? I hate it. Hold on. Leave. <laughs> Nobody leaves this house. Why does why'd they make him Australian? Hey, why'd they make him Australian? <laughs> Wait, you came here on purpose? He is quiet, because I have him turned down a lot. Hold on. Actually, we're going to turn that down. And we'll turn Winter all the way up. Maybe all the way up. I've got a good guess which one of you dies first. Why? 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 No. Here we go. If you give your life to save someone, expect to pay that price. No, 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 no. With this particular art, maybe, but not, no, 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 no. Australian, not even like really Australian. It sounds like a British person or like a New Zealander doing a really stupid Australian accent. Like, I showed this to my friend Kamara, who, like, lives in London, and he's like, this is, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, that's what I'm fucking saying. Like, what the fuck, dude? What the hell? God, no. We're gonna go look at good winter art right now. Actually... Look at Jorn. <laughs> Look at George. Generic NPC in dilapidated town. Well, dilapidated plain. So here's Cynical Opportunist, which is okay. If this art is okay favorite that could be that is a random guy in dishonored oh my god one of my biggest pet peeves about what they did to this man in arena is that if you look close enough it looks like he's wearing a chain i don't like that i don't like that he should be wearing a noose. Look at this. This is a noose. 
Let's look at Misanthropic Guy, which is my favorite card out art, quite frankly. This is like my second favorite card art. Look at that. That's a noose. I love this picture of him. I love this one. I love the art they put of him on... It's like the key art they put of him on the um, bundle box. Oh, fuck. Here you go. Look at him. They put it on the bundle box. They put it on the, like, pro binder, the, like, 12 slot binder. That's also very good. They put the gloss overlay around his eyes. It's very good. I'm actually showing that on screen. This, this winter is on screen right now. Like, the misanthropic guide. This is my favorite art of him, though, if I'm honest. This art is my favorite art of him. Look at him. Look at him. It's very good. I can't believe I pulled two different winters and none of them are this. It's so fucked up and stupid. Anyway, I love this man. I want this art card. If you if if anyone out there loves me, I'm just saying. Mm, the death touch, that's fun. I don't like the 80s technology Ghostbuster shit, I'll be honest with you. Red pants. He's wearing red pants? He's wearing red pants? Oh my god, he is. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love that his hood is part of his jacket. His sleeveless... I'm sorry, his hood is part of his shirt. I actually have one of those. I shouldn't say anything. <sighs> I'm I'm sorry to say, guys, I'm gay. Anyway. I think I accidentally hit the stop recording button. We're still alive. I accidentally hit the stop recording button, which is sad. Oh well. Um. All right. Well, I think that might be it for tonight. Um, thanks for everyone who came out. Uh, this was fun. I like talking about angels. I was kind of like lost in it at the beginning, obviously, but I hope I sort of was able to impart on everyone. why I love Angel so much, and sort of the philosophy behind a lot of my deck building. Um, the, 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 the experiment, as short-lived as it was with Lyra's Angels instead, I think I might mess with it some more. I kind of like it. Arena is, is fun with that because... It's so easy just to swap cards out. It, it's harder, and like to get new cards, you just redeem it, dream a wild card. A little harder to do that in person, uh, unfortunately. But uh, I might mess with it some more. I think it's a fun, fun premise. It's, it's. I feel like it adds a little more flexibility to the deck, and I think that might be the life gain I was missing. I don't know. I'll play with it. I'll see. I'll play with it. I'll play with it. But um, as a reminder. Um, go check out Die Hard Dice. Uh, I just put the link in the chat again. Um, ten percent off your entire purchase. DieHardDice.com/nerdsmith, or just go to their store and use the code Nerdsmith. It lets them know that we sent you there, and you get ten percent off a bunch of shiny things. It's great, quite frankly. Um, we do have a TikTok. We put show clips on there. 
Um, we do also have an Etsy. We got some dragon pride enamel pins. We got some um, little dragon acrylic keychains and stickers. We got we got fun stuff there. Go check it out. Um, next week again, we're not gonna have stream. Nothing on the fourth. Uh, if you're in the U.S., go vote. Go vote. I'm gonna be out of town. I'm gonna be. DC of all places. Um, on the... I don't think we have anything else this week, but on the 7th, next Thursday, we will be having our last Nerdsmith Spooktacular. Um, little past October, but that's okay. This month has really been so crazy with everything that we've been doing. <sighs> um, keep an eye out. Um, we're going to have a lot of new stuff on the feed next month from the 18th, the week of the 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, that, that like week, we will be doing a charity stream. Everything's going to be going to PCRF. Um, especially with how this election goes. Um, we'll be raising money. Uh, our goal is $300. And if we hit $300, Gabby and I will be on camera playing a horror game. If you're not familiar, we are big wimps. We are scaredy cats. We will, we will do it for the kids. So more on that as it comes. We have a lot of cool stuff coming on the pipeline. Um, hit us up on the socials. Here's Twitter. I have to fix the blue sky thing. I misspelled blue sky? Alright, guys. I gotta go. I can't fucking do this. I'll, I'll see y'all in a couple weeks. <laughs> Bye. Bye.